Hi, I'm Brett Hooker and my channel is I Love Dirt. And in this video, I'm gonna show you just a couple of the small improvements we made to our pod trailer, just to make things a little bit easier to set up and pack up and just keep things tidier when we're camped, etc., with the trailer. So let's start with something super, super simple. Everybody's got one of these, but if we have a look down here, I've added a, a level to the draw bar and it just makes it so much easier when you're trying to reverse into a site uh, having the level right there without having to pull one out it makes it much easier when you're trying to level up your trailer. A couple of bucks for those. I've just used high quality external double sided tape to attach that. I get the tape from Bunnings, so nice and easy to get and that's on nice and firm. The next thing we had done, so Custom Off Grid Solutions did this for us, we actually had some stainless steel hooks added to the draw bar. You can see they're riveted on there with stainless steel rivets as well, so nice and resilient but it actually gives us somewhere to hang the chains rather than just having them flop around underneath. And then the third thing we've done on the draw bar is Custom Off Grid Solutions just made this simple little case up for us and uh, it gives us somewhere to put the ends of these cables again instead of them just flopping on the ground in the dirt or in the dust etc etc so it just keeps the draw bar tidy keeps everything up off the ground so a couple of simple things there if you're enjoying the content we're producing on the i love dirt channel go ahead and click the subscribe button and the like button to let other people know what we're doing and for you to stay up to date with the content we're producing now we're going to come back to the toolbox and have a look at a couple of, couple of simple things we did to the toolbox so toolbox is great this is the toolbox you're going to option up from from pod trailer but it's really hard to open. There's actually no handle on it as it comes. So we actually had a very simple strap handle added to the toolbox and it just makes it super easy to open it up. But the other thing I did is that sometimes I found that this was uh, flopping back down or blowing back down in the wind. So we had a little tiny gas strut added to the lid and it just helps hold that lid open when you're getting things out of the toolbox. Just a simple thing. And we did some simple things to make this awning a little bit easier to get up and down. There's been some discussion on the, the Facebook page around how do you make this easier to, to put up and put down. So the couple of things we did is the gas struts here, we actually had them replaced with a gas strut with a slightly lighter pressure in it, so 150 Newton meters. It's still pretty of pressure to, get, to raise the awning, but being a little bit lighter, it makes it easier to pull down. And we worked through a combination of other things. We're thinking about putting actuators on, etc to make this easier to raise and, low, raise and lower. But we do like the simplicity of just having the gas struts. But we, we played around with it a little bit and we actually found that by making some adjustments to the brackets down here and to the brackets and to the brackets up the top, we found that the framing wasn't quite square. So what was happening when we were trying to pull it down, being, it was just millimeters out, but just by just making sure that all of the, uh, the edges were absolutely dead straight, actually made it much easier to raise up and down so what we find now is that i can actually i can stand in the middle and i can pull it down it does still bind a little bit on the metal from time to time on the sides but just a little bit of jiggle jiggle and it comes back down again so just just a simple change here with slightly less uh, pressure in the uh, in the struts and then just some squaring up some alignments on the sides just made this easier to pack away all right so that's just a couple of extra things we've done to make the pot a little bit easy to use i've actually got another video where i did a walk around and talked about you know where we added added the jerry can the second jerry can holder and the second gas bottle holder and pole box and water and all these other things so definitely look for that video and i've talked about i've got a video there about the electrical setup and i've got a video about the uh, the kitchen and the drawers that I've put inside so there's a few videos that you can watch here on the channel around how we've made this pod trailer a little bit better for camping we got one project left to do we're just going to work on some canvas to close in the opening at the end of the uh, the trailer around the kitchen so once I get that worked out we'll pop up the video around that as well anyway that's enough for today cheers everyone we'll see you out there <laughs> 